In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add text in iMovie. You gotta just press record. Hey, my name is Nolan Moult with Think Media and let's jump right into the video. So when you have iMovie opened, up here you're gonna notice there's some different options. And right here in the middle, you're gonna see titles. So we're going to click on titles and this is going to open up all the different titles that you can use on your video. So down here, I have some clips that I want some titles to go over and so up here, they have some words in here so you can see what they are. And obviously you're gonna be able to replace those later. But if you drag from left to right over this, it's gonna show you the effects. And so this one kinda fades in and out and zooms in. This one's in the bottom left-hand corner. This one is centered and the text actually starts to kind of separate itself, which is kind of cool. And so you can go through these and start to look at the different effects and see which one is gonna fit your video the best. So I really like this one called reveal. And so how you import it is you can just simply drag it over your project and drop it wherever you'd like. For me, I want it to be on this clip. So now if I hit play, you can see that the text is overlaying my video. Now there's a few things that you can do here. One is if you grab the end, you can extend it and make it longer or shorter. And then same with this side, you can make it shorter or longer, as well as move this at any time. So if you don't like it over this clip, at any point, you can move that to the beginning of the video if you'd like it there. In order to change the text, you just need to double click where it says title text here, and it's gonna open up a lot more settings. We're gonna start with font. Here you're able to change uh, you know, from some different fonts, and I'm gonna use Helvetica Bold. And then you can just start typing and change whatever you'd like. All right, Think Media is the text I want to use. Right here where it says 160, that is the font size. And you can click here and it gives you some options to change it. But you can also go in here and change it to maybe 100. So if one of these don't really fit exactly what you're looking for, something you can do is highlight the numbers and then change it and now you have unlimited options of the size of the text. This allows you to change where the text is, whether you want it uh, left, centered, or on the right side. And so for me, I want this centered with my screen. And then here we can make it bold, italic, outlined. Uh, I'm gonna leave mine on bold and italic. To change the color, you can click this white box right here, and you're gonna see this thing pop up. Uh, here you can, you know, drag this around and pick a color. Uh, there's some different options, you know, that Apple has on their computers where you can just select. Uh, but I'm, I like using this to find the right color, and so I'm gonna use a yellow tone like this. And once you've uh, selected your colors, you can hit reset if you wanna reset everything, or you can hit the blue check mark once you're done and it's gonna snap back into place. And so I'm gonna move this to the beginning of this clip. When I hit play, it's gonna show me what it looks like. I like it, I think it should be a little bit longer and so all you gotta do is drag the end here and I want it to end right around there. So that's looking pretty good, but I'm gonna show you how to add some really cool text inside of iMovie that a lot of people don't know that you can do. And it's really simple, it's really easy. But first, like this video and comment down below how long have you been using iMovie? Let me know in the comments below. The next thing I wanna talk about is themed text. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into settings by clicking this right here. It says project settings. Um, and we have theme, it says no theme. And this is where we're gonna get some more text options that you don't see initially is by changing the theme. So if you select this, all right, so now iMovie has opened up all sorts of different themes and you can play these and look in them and see if you like them. But you see these text effects, those are what you're gonna be able to add. You have something like modern, where it kind of has this darkened background with text. You could do something playful and these text things we're gonna be able to add, but we need to make this the theme. So I really like neon. It kind of has a fun, uh, beachy summer type of vibe going on to it. And so I'm gonna select neon and hit change. Now that I've changed it up here in titles, you're gonna see that the current theme is now neon and there's some new titles, which opening actually automatically 
um, puts itself on that opening clip as well as some effects. And so just by changing the theme, it's added a lot of effects for us. And if you don't like those, you can um, go ahead, select it and just hit delete and then turn off automatic content, go through, you could delete the rest if you'd like. Uh, I don't necessarily need them, so I'm gonna delete those. So for the beginning, it says my movie one, and it's the same thing here, we can make it longer if we'd like, and then double click to change the text. So I want it to say think media. And also notice that theme titles cannot be adjusted. So you can't change a lot of the customization that you could with some of these, but uh, it's still some cool options. So I'm gonna hit the check mark and I want to see what that looks like now. Awesome, I think that's super cool, I love it. Let's check out a couple of these other ones. So we have middle. And it's actually placed uh, the ending one right here on the end for me as well. And it's a bit short, so I'm gonna make this a lot longer. And so, oh, it looks, says directed by Nolan Mole. It already knows and it put it in there. And uh, I think that's awesome. I hope you learned something. And if you wanna watch more videos on editing in iMovie, you can click on the screen or tap right now and watch that playlist. And until next time, I'll see you soon.